Hey there 3D artists, today I'll teach you how you can uh, use a soft selection in polygon modeling in 3ds Max to uh, create facial expressions and then use morph targets to animate them. So this is a model that I've imported into the scene. It's uh, just a simple doll model that's not even exactly predict very, you know, properly because its eyebrows a bit messed up. Anyway, it was auto rigged, uh, so we are not concerned with that. We are just concerned with the face. So we will clone it because it it needs to be cloned in the in its place. If we were to uh, move it and press shift and then move it around, it uh, that would clone it uh, also, but it would mess up the uh, the pivot point, which we don't want to mess up because for, uh, morph targets only works with pivot point and since it's skinned uh, the, pivot, the pivot point will move uh, let me show you how if i were to do this and copy and just collapse it it's pivot it, its pivot point is now here but the model is right there see now it's all messed up so we don't want that we'll delete this uh we'll click on this and we'll go to clone and then click on copy and click okay now it's uh, right here we will just collapse it because we don't need the skin modifier for this and we'll uh, move it to the side because you know there's no need to keep it there anymore since the pivot point is exactly where the original pivot point was in relationship in uh, relation to the model not relationship and uh, now we will use soft selection to manipulate the face now soft selection is a uh, tool uh, that you can access either from uh, this rollout bar from soft selection use soft selection or you can use it from modeling uh, ribbon from here so anyway I will just use this uh, it's turned on now from here or you can just click this same thing and now let's select the vertex so something like this now the red portion is the one that's affected the most and then there's uh, it's falling off from there so if you were to move it like this, you see it's happening. So it's a very uh, good way to uh, make changes in, into an organic matter, into an organic model, not matter, uh, in, into an organic model to make it smile or close its eyelid or something like that. It's very useful. Uh, so what we'll do now is uh, make it smile a bit, uh, but we don't need to move all of that. So we'll just decrease the fall off here. We'll decrease it to about this. Now remember that when you move it, the soft selection will move with the vertex point. So now that we have moved it like here, it moved. Now that we can move it a bit up. So there you go. Same thing with this side. And smiling. We'll select its cheekbones, move it a bit up. And now I want you to uh, show an option here called uh, edge distance. So what it does is it prevents uh, fall off works. Uh, if, we, if it's unchecked, the fall off value will take uh, the 3D space into account and not the edge distance. Because in 3D space, this vertex and the vertex of the top eyelid is nearby, nearby to each other but uh, if we take edge distance it's not actually nearby so this is very useful if you're working with a space like this if we click on edge, edge distance and then we can increase it it increases as uh, the topology of the model instead of the 3d space so now we can move it a bit up like this and same thing uh, with the top eyelid. So select it, select it, move it a bit further, and then we will do this and close it. Well, like that. It's not a very good result, but it is what it is for for the sake of this tutorial. And uh, maybe we'll just uh, work with something like this, enlarge the syrup a bit. Uh, so 
So you see I'm not even selecting exactly the same vertice, uh, vertices on both layers but it, it works uh, quite well because uh, you know it's it's a very fluid movement of uh, manipulating a model and a mesh in 3ds Max. This is a very useful tool if you know how to use it. And uh, now we have this so we can just make changes to this. Now we can go to Morpher. Um, make sure you move it below skin because when you start adding animations to this importing animations to the model it will start behaving a bit weird we don't want that and uh, now we will pick it from scene so we'll just click on this model and now uh, you can just increase it and decrease it and see that's taking place that's that's how you work with soft selection to create facial expressions in 3ds max or for anything like you if you want to grow a hair or uh, you know you want to um, curl around a snake or something and this is how you use it uh, thank you for watching and i hope this was useful